What's up, guys? It's Jay. We're gonna have to kill. And I'm back here on Desian. Last week, Bungie kind of disappointed us on Bungie Day when they announced that we're gonna get ourselves a year one emblem that kind of has to be worked for by doing a bunch of challenges that you probably already have already done. And now, you, you just gotta wait two months for an emblem. <laughs> but Bungie also unveiled a brand new armory on Bungie.net where you can look through all the various weapons with their official stats and ranks, and it's actually pretty cool. And recently, people have noticed that the Fate of All Fools and the Intrusion Ghost Shell are both listed in Bungie's official database. And a lot of people are beginning to wonder if this means that they're going to be coming into the game with the Taken King. And honestly, the Fate of All Fools makes sense to be inside of the game file since... It's already inside of the game for at least one confirmed person. So I'm not sure if we'll ever see it become a non-exclusive. I'm not sure if I want it to become a non-exclusive because that was kind of really nice to see Bungie, you know, take something that a lot of people wanted at the time. It was like, oh my God, there's another exotic scout rifle inside of the game. And people were kind of foaming at the mouth and they're like, you know what? We're, we're going to give this to a guy who, uh, you know, who's been through some rough times. And I, I thought that was actually pretty cool. So I'm not sure if we'll ever see it become a non-exclusive, but the one thing that, that, that was kind of intriguing me is the ghost shell. And it, it intrigues me now more so than it did back when people originally found the intrusion shell inside the game files. In fact, you can even go see the shell for yourself in the Forgotten Shore by the entrance to the Warmind Rasputin. So it looks like somebody was trying to use this ghost. For, so what were they doing down there with this intrusion shell ghost? So let's talk about this for a minute because I've been under the impression that it would be really hard for Bungie to introduce other ghost shells to the game since right now the only other ghost shell is the Frontier shell that came with the Collector's Edition of the game so you know naturally it makes sense that Bungie would like to keep the colored ghost shells exclusive to the people with the collector's edition or else they're gonna be like oh my god Bungie they bought the collector's edition thinking I was gonna have a ghost nobody else was gonna have a colored ghost but me <laughs> uh, until people started pointing out that there was a colored ghost in the Taken King vid doc and it looks like it's a green ghost so even though this might not be the intrusion shell it definitely doesn't look like the normal Dagobot that we're used to seeing in fact this looks kind of hivish in color so could this be a hive influenced ghost that's purpose is what the intrusion shell was originally designed for are we getting a first look at a ghost that not only opens doors but might be key to unlocking the treasures and the puzzles of the Dreadnought Raid, including those exotic chests rumored to be uh, strewed about all over the place. <laughs> Bungie has said that the Dreadnought is a flying fortress filled with secrets, puzzles, and plenty to discover. So tell me what you guys think down below. Do you guys think that the Intrusion Shell could be the start? of ghosts being added into Destiny that actually have a purpose? Or do you think that they're just remnants of code left over from an unfinished idea and we'll probably just get cosmetic ghosts in the future and that's what we're seeing inside the Taken King? Tell me in the comment section down below. My name is Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. I think uh, we might be seeing Dinglebots added into the game that actually might have a purpose in solving puzzles and finding secrets inside this Dreadnought Raid. I think that would actually be kind of cool. So, my name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later.